Hey everybody, hope things are going well in San Francisco. It's nice to see all of you. Things are really cold here in Boston. Today we want to take you through some new features we've added to the conferencing system, which we call Dapping Conversation. For instance, you might notice that the entire time I've been talking, I've been kept in full focus, while the environment around me has been kept blurred. People that enter the scene are also kept blurred while I'm kept in full focus, which helps you keep your attention on me while I'm talking. However, when someone else starts talking, they become in focus as well. Hi, I'm Lizzie. You can see when I begin to talk, a time bubble coming up uh, on top of my head and begin to count my talking time. So, now we want to take a minute and show you some additional features we've added to the system. The second feature we want to look at is called Privacy Freeze. Sometimes during a conversation, you need a minute to do something personal, like check an SMS or take a phone call, but it's inappropriate and might be perceived as being rude to get up and leave the table. For this, we've implemented something called Freeze. For example, right now I'm taking a quick look at an SMS coming in from friends on my cell phone, letting me know something I need to do later in the day. To everybody else, I look like I'm frozen in the background, while Lizzie in the foreground can actually move around and make faces. In this example, we want to show you something called privacy area. Privacy areas are an area in a room that can be left invisible at any given point during a conference. In this example, Lizzie is going to work on a specific design concept that we want to show to you, but not until it's ready to be shown. She's going to take the concept from the back of the room, where I can see her and you can see her, but once I dynamically tell the room to render pixels no further than, let's say, here, now you can only see me. I can still see Lizzie. Finally, we look at how depth can be used to determine the distance between objects in a given space. You'll notice that as the objects move, the centimeter markers above each object change dynamically to represent where that object is in space in relation to the other object. Additionally, these objects can be used as interactive objects from the other side of each conference room. Users viewing the discussion can use the mouse to point and click on any object marked in the space. The images on the objects themselves render a calibrated in depth.